Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I filmed last week the video where I talked about best products of 2020. Now there are also products that didn't actually work for me. Now, some of you wanted me to create this video and show you things that I pro uh, show you the products that made me disappointed, products that didn't work for me or didn't live up to my expectations. So there are a couple of products, not so many, but there are a couple of products. So if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. I always try to be, not try, I'm always honest on my channel, but I always try to be a little more positive and find somehow a way for a product to work. But there are products that I tried that didn't really work for me. There are products that work for me, but really are not worth the price, or I was hoping they would be the best, but actually they landed like here. Before I start, I want to say, um, this is my own opinion. I have oily combination skin. I'm, I'm 36 years old and I work long hours. And I'm not a makeup artist, so these products don't work for me, but it doesn't mean that they don't work for you or that you are not going to like them. Maybe you do like them. Maybe this is this, some of these products are your holy grills. I'm happy. Please let me know down below if if you made any of these products work for you. I will be very happy and glad to know. But for some, for some reason, this product didn't really, I don't know, grab my heart <laughs> in a good way. Okay, let's start. The first product, it's this one. Now, many people like it. I don't say I hate it. I like this product, but, sorry, you can probably hear my children, they are laughing, they are watching YouTube and they are just having a great time. I hope it doesn't bother you. This is the Retinol Cl Clearing Oil. I've been using this for months every night. And it's a good oil. I can see myself repurchasing though if it was 50% off. This is very expensive. And I've used it up. I have... I think I have just a little bit of the product left here. And you know, retinol is very good for your skin, but this oil, I, I mean, I tried other retinol products, retinol products that did the same thing for me, but was less expensive. This is very expensive for what you actually get. And I know some people love it and I don't hate it. I just feel like I was expecting much, much more, but it didn't really, gave me gave, it didn't really give me those results now i still get breakouts i still have as uneven skin as skin as i had i still have some um, red parts on my face i just i was hoping for it to do more than it actually did i don't think i used it in a wrong way i just feel like it sorry i have lipstick swatches on my hands i was i was filming a couple of videos today uh, I just feel like this is a good oil. I just feel it's a little bit too expensive for what you get and what it actually did for my skin. So I, of course, I uh, can see myself purchasing it if it was on sale, but pay it full price. I don't actually think it's worth it. There are some other products similar to this that actually do the same thing for me. And uh, I do like Dermalogica, but there are products from this brand and I have another product that I'm showing you guys that actually didn't really wasn't really as good as other people said it was. So, okay, let's leave this one. The next product uh, that's really hyped up that also I do like, I do use, will I repurchase? I'm really not sure. Vein setting spray. Now, wait, wait, I know what you think. I know what you're thinking, just let me finish. I love Hourglass and I love their Veil products. I love their Veil primer. That's my holy grail. But this is very expensive. And it works the same way as my L'Oreal setting spray or Milani setting spray. It doesn't really give me magic. 
which I was expecting with this. This says that soft focus setting spray. I mean, it's it's a good setting spray, but I think it's a little bit too expensive for what you actually get and for the results. Now, I don't know if I will repurchase it. Maybe if it was also on the sale as the same thing as the face oil. I just feel like this is a little bit too expensive for what you get. I can get very good setting sprays for less money. So this is a good one, but it just it's not I reviewed this and I was happy and I'm happy I do have it on my face today don't get me wrong I just feel like it's not a magic setting spray and I don't think it's very worth that high price tag feel like you pay for the name more than you pay for the product no it's good product I just found it it works the same as other products that all are from drugstore that I tried so still uh, still like veil pro still love hourglass product still like this one just please reduce the price it's too expensive okay so a face primer i i reviewed this on my channel or i filmed the review but i never uploaded it because some parts of that video kind of disappeared from my camera i don't know how just is gone so i thought of filming that video again but it wasn't a good product so i was like no nah, i won't but i couldn't get get rid of it because i still want to try it differently this is the peter thomas root skin to die for no filter mattifying primer and complexion perfecter oh my god it's itching sorry guys this sounds to be a magic for your skin. It's going to smooth, it's going to make like a filter on your skin. You're going to look perfect. It says instantly blurs, okay? Fills and helps reduce the look of pores, fine lines and imperfections with a natural looking matte finish. <laughs> Cakey as hell. That's how I looked. I looked cakey as hell. Like somebody slapped a lot of foundation on my face and I looked 10 years older. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I used too much or too little or wrong foundation, but I, I don't remember what foundation I used. But I was thinking, oh my God, no, mm -mm. no, no, no. But I still can't get rid of it because it sounds like to be a perfect and this is uh, not cheap It's not the I don't remember the price I will see if I can put it down below or put it here on the screen I don't actually remember the price price, but it wasn't really drugstore pricing. I Hope I don't say that wrong, but it says also that a powerful mattifying complexion absorbs excess oil with while powerful, this support 20 helps to reduce the appearance of pore size and shape over time. Subtle, universal tint instantly blurs with any skin tone and shade. Can be used under makeup for flawless results or alone for natural, beautiful, no filter look for all skin types. <laughs> Please let me know if you try this product. I couldn't make it work. I don't remember the foundation, but I still want to try it in a different way. Maybe, maybe somehow I will change my opinion. Maybe that day was my bad skin day, maybe, but oh my God, I hate myself how I looked with this primer. So I won't recommend it yet, though I will try it again when I'm home and not working, just to see if it if it's me or if it's the primer. Right now, I'm sure if it's the primer, but I still can't get rid of it. I still want to try it. And that's my problem, my issue. I can't get rid of the product. I need to try them a couple of times before I get rid of them. I'm, I know my skin changes from week to week. I know sometimes something works perfectly and then next week it's a disaster on my skin. I know that. That's why I can't get rid of the product. That's why I need to try them again. But right now I'm disappointed. This wasn't a good buy. And if you tried it, let me know what you think. But so far, no. Mm -mm. Okay, a product that I really tried to love and still have in my collection. And I don't think I bought it 
last year, I think about 2019. And it's the Uma, Uma Foundation. Say what? Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. What shade is wrong? I mean, I know you can find your perfect shade somehow. The shade match on the website wasn't really my cup of tea because it gave me wrong shade, but still. I can make it work with some bronzer or concealers. But this shows texture on my skin. I know I have textured skin. I know that. I know I have huge pores. But oh my god, this foundation, don't let me forget it. It's in my face. It says to me, girl, you see your pores? Girl, do you see your imperfections? Well, let's highlight everything. Let's make it visible for the world. That's what this foundation does to me. And I tried it and tried and I tried it on my, on my, on my channel a couple of times. And the first second, yeah, I like it. Then I don't like it. And it's messy with my head. I want to love it because so many YouTubers love it. So many big YouTubers love this foundation. It just somehow doesn't like me. So I can't get rid of it because I still want to use it up because it's so hyped up. I know I'm crazy, but um, I'm not going to wear it outside. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just disappointed. Okay. Now, uh, I, I don't know when I bought this foundation. It's definitely wrong shade. And Sephora, you you did this to me. I just tried to match my uh, self with that Sephora color match, foundation match, and it didn't work. This is a Smashbox Studio Skin Full Courage 24 Hour Foundation. It's too dark. I know. I know. It's too deep. I know. look and I did compare it a couple of times with a foundation that were perfect for me from my Too Faced foundation I don't remember Urban Decay foundation and this is the color I got but okay that's not all dry I look dry okay I look dry I look textured I uh, it kind of gathers around my nose. I just didn't like this foundation. I first thought that was the color that kind of threw me off, but I used it two times at home. Uh, but it's just uh, oh my god, it's mm, can't get rid of it. It stays there, but I I, mm, I just looked too cakey, and it looks looked very obvious that I had foundation on. Looked very obvious that I had a lot of foundation on. Even if I didn't have a lot of foundation, it just made me remind that I, you girl, uh -uh, I see you have something on your face. I just didn't like how it looked. It didn't sink into my skin. It just sat on the skin. It didn't want to cooperate good with my skin. It just the, these two didn't like each other. So. Um, now, um, I know some people really like this foundation, I didn't make it work, but um, I'm curious still to try it because I have plenty left. <laughs> maybe if I mix it with another foundation, maybe I will like it more. And the color I had have is 2.2 Skin Tone Light Medium Warm Peach. No. So yeah, it didn't work for me. Okay, another foundation. Oh my god, I don't remember if I bought it last year or the year before. Sorry, guys. Maybe I talked about this on my channel before. If I did, forgive me. Just go to skip to the next pro uh, next product. But I need to talk about this. This is the base of Sweden waterproof full coverage foundation, flawless matte finish with SPF 30. This is this is thick thick also too dark uh, what shade is this this is the brave shade brave to color match it was mission impossible to find right color mission impossible this is thick it's th tacky it's I don't know if you can see it it just feels so heavy on the skin looks like that too I just didn't like it I didn't like it I need to remove it with some um, I need to remove it it doesn't feel comfortable 
it has it doesn't have a scent to it or anything it doesn't smell in this but it just feels uncomfortable and I looked cakey and I looked older than I'm actually and then I actually am so I didn't really like that foundation now when it comes to foundation it's very different I love my uh, my Catrice foundation but I know some of you my beautiful family uh, and friends some of you don't like that foundation it kind of uh, shows texture it looks dry and uneven but for me that foundation works and I know these foundations that I talked about right now work for somebody. For, for me, they didn't work. They didn't work. And unfortunately, I'm staying. I'm not going to try this again. I just have it to compare the shades or to compare. There are not, not so many shades out there. But I want to compare the shades to, to compare the texture with other foundation that I'm trying. But I'm never going to put this on my face again. Another hourglass uh, product that I... I am using, but I'm not loving, I'm not hating, but let's just say that we are friends. Not best friends, but we are friends, okay? It's the Hourglass Veal Eye Primer. I thought that this will keep my eyeshadow on forever. Not really forever, but you know what I want to what I mean because the face primer veal is the perfect primer for me it's the best primer out there for me it's just my holy grail so I thought oh, these wheel setting spray and this product oh I'm going to love them as the same but now <laughs> no we are not best friends we tolerate each other yeah we do we stand each other for six seven hours but that's it girl then we get bored and <laughs> leaving that's how long it takes my eyeshadow to start crazy, around six, six, seven hours. And it's not really, uh, I know some people say, oh my God, that's too long, but not for me because I work eight hours, sometimes 10. And I leave home an hour before, one and a half hour before I need to start working to drive my kids to school. And that long it takes me also to come home from work, pick up my kids and come home. So I need my concealer, or not concealers, but I need my makeup or my eyeshadow to look very nice for at least, at least 11, 12 hours. Okay. Doesn't need to look perfect, but at least good for 10, uh, 11, 12 hours. Uh, this half the day and it says, bye bye, I done. I'm enough. I don't want you anymore. I'm bored. I'm leaving <laughs> so um, yeah I will talk about this more on my uh, channel where I review the uh, the eyeshadow primers because I do want to talk about it but I'm not hitting I mean you see I've been using it and I've been using it last year because during the summer we were off and uh, now when I work uh, uh, after having lessons I'm working at home and having meetings from home so then it's okay for me because you don't really sh see my eye shadow so close when I have meetings on uh, through the meet or uh, teams so for me it's uh, then it's okay but usually mm, I need it to last longer okay another product that it's not bad but I just don't understand is this brow conditioning primer from Benefit I don't say it's a bad product. No, I'm not saying that. I just don't get this product. And if you can see, it's thick. It looks like a gel. Doesn't smell anything. It, I can't, you can't see. It looks like a gel, and it feels okay. I mean, but I don't just. I just don't get it. It doesn't make make my products last longer. It doesn't make my hair's eyebrows hold better. I just, I, I, I got it, I think in one of my subscription boxes and that's what I tried it and I'm going to use it up just to use it up, but I just feel like, what's the point? I will never pay for this because I don't get it. It doesn't do anything special. You know, sometimes there is like, let me, let me show you, like, Like this product. This is the under, I'm talking about this in every video, sorry guys if you're bored, but this is my under eye primer. And this is the best sh product I've used for ages because it does something for my under eyes. You can't even see this product when you put it on your finger. And when you dab it, you just, you can't feel it that you have it, but it does, I have it on right now. It does something 
for my eyes. It makes me look more even. It keeps my concealer in place. I don't look, my smile lines are not as deep as they usually are without, a, you know, all of the products on my face. I just love this product. It does something. It's hard to explain. It's hard to show. It just is that good. This, what? I don't get it. If you tried it and like it, I'm, guys, I'm happy. I just don't understand this product. So I will use it because I still have it and I, I just feel like it's shame to just throw it away. It's not bad, but it's still not good. So I can use it. It's not hurting me. I just don't get the point. I don't understand it. Now, uh, let's talk about no highlighters. We will, they're all highlighters that yeah, there are some highlighters that made me disappoint. Another product that I'm going to mention just shortly in this video. This is the deodorant, natural deodorant from Respire Respire. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, guys. This is the brand. It's in Sephora. It's a French brand. I can't pronounce the name. Sorry for that. You can see my swatches for the lipstick that I, I did a lipstick video where I swatched a couple of lipsticks from Milani. And they are so good, they stay in your hands. And I was washing and washing and washing and washing, it's still there, so I'm not dirty, it just stained from the lipsticks. This is in cit citron, citron bergamot lime. It smells wonderful. It's, it smells fresh, lemon, I love that scent. But it doesn't do anything. No, no, it doesn't keep me dry. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, when I sweat, I start to stink. It doesn't help me in any, any way. Uh, I used it up uh, when I was trying it out. I bought the smaller size. This is expensive and I'm glad that I bought the smaller size because if I bought this full size, that would be a waste of money because it's not good. It's not good for me. I sweat a lot and everybody sweats, of course. I sweat, sweat a lot and I just say that it does uh, this mm -mm, it's not doing me any good no no it's not doing me any good so I won't recommend it and I won't buy it and if I get it I will maybe give it away for some to somebody else to try it but I will never use that again okay the eyeshadow palette now I love eyeshadow palettes and I was looking if there is any eyeshadow palette that I didn't really like I liked all of them more or less but there is an eyeshadow palette that uh, from a brand that i started using last year and a lot of the things if you watch my video you know that a lot of the things that i bought from that brand is amazing i love it and i gave it away i'm giving away to friends on giveaways i just love but there are some products that i don't really like they're not terrible it's just i tried so many eyeshadows and I feel like, nah, this is not really working for me. And one of those eyeshadows are Pillow Talk from Mecca, Mecca Makeup. Makeup, Mecca, Mecca Makeup. I love Mecca Makeup. This is the Norwegian brand. And the color, colors are beautiful. They look beautiful. And I think I created a makeup look with this palette. But what I realized that the pigmentation is there. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they are powdery, but feel like butter. butter the pigmentation is there but they don't last on my eyes a long time and I don't know why they fade very fast on my eyes and I don't I do set my eyeshadow primers every time with powder and I think this will be a palette to use without setting your eyeshadow primers I can't do that because I know my eyeshadow is not going to stay I'm um, no it's just how my eyes work but it's a beautiful palette and I'm going to keep it and I'm not going to get rid of it I am going to use it still but I'm not going to use it when I want my eyeshadows to stay for a long time because I like the pigmentation I like how easy they are to work with I just feel like they are fading very fast and if I may not mean fade very fast then I made very fast. I put, just after like four or five hours, I felt like my eyeshadow wasn't as intense as it was when I applied it. So that's the only palette that uh, it didn't really blow my mind. Mascara that uh, didn't really work for me. This is Extra Volume Black Mascara Showgirl from Berry M. 
very liquidy very liquidy uh, I like the brush it's it doesn't do anything for my eyelashes no I just feel like I was putting on and on and on and I, no I didn't really like it and I feel like it's not a mascara that I'm going to repurchase and it's nothing I find other as cheap as this one that worked much better so I'm kind of disappointed but yeah no I don't like this one and then I got this is the truffle truffle cosmetic lip and cheek jam 99% natural ingredients. This is a product that you can put on your lips and cheek to give you that sweet, healthy, natural finish of color that lasts for 10 amazing hydrated hours. <laughs> I'm laughing. Is this product. For the lips, yes. Yes, yes for the lips. I like lips. Cheeks though. This is like a gel. doesn't smell anything for the lips why not yes it works for the lips i tried it on the lips but for the face the only way you can make this work as a um, blush it's if you use it on the skin without the foundation this removed my foundation immediately immediately it was hard to blend on top of the foundation it removed of course the foundation let's just and don't talk about putting it on top of the powder <laughs> powder and this product don't like each other no no, no. so uh, i would recommend it to use it if you have beautiful skin you don't use foundation and you want these real rosy healthy cheek cheeks perfect product for the lips too but oh my god putting this on the on the cheeks on top of my full coverage foundation <laughs> big no no, so this made me disappointed. This is cruelty free and it's cute. It looks cute. It, it does last. Let me just say it lasts. It dries. It's a little bit tacky too. So I felt like I needed to set it. I removed my makeup when I applied this. I tried this four or five times and every time I tried this, I removed my makeup off. It just looked terrible on top, uh, but I did use it during the summer when I didn't wear any foundation, where we were locked in and didn't, couldn't go anywhere. I used this just to, you know, to try it out again. I had plenty of time to play with my makeup and then I liked it. I liked it on the lips. On the lips, I liked it a lot. I just didn't like it as a cream blush. Okay, two lip products. The first that I also reviewed is the Urban Glow lip gloss and doesn't matter what shade this is. I have right now here one shade but I actually have three. It's a nice sh nice color and I liked it but I liked it when I review this and I do like it when I wear it shortly but this is this is drying out my lips. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. It looks cute on the lips, but after wearing this like an hour or two, oh my god, it felt uncomfortable. It, the shade, the color was almost gone. It faded, of course, it's a lip gloss. But it also dried my lips for some reason. I, I don't like it. I was disappointed. I didn't get rid of it because I don't do like the color. I do look how it looks when I just apply it. But I just feel like, like it's the one of the worst lip glosses I've tried last year and I tried many lip glosses. This is one of the worst. Now it's not the worst ever ever. It's just if there is, I don't understand how you can make a lip gloss that will dry out your lips. I just don't get it but this is a product that does that and I read other read on uh, some websites other people trying this and saying it does the same thing and I was like yes I'm not crazy thank you God. <laughs> So, no, nah, I won't recommend it. The other thing that made me disappointed is Fenty Beauty lipsticks. And this is the, maybe this is the only shade. This is the shade, I can't read, Griselda. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. But this is the dark, vampy, purple shade. Let's see if we can place this shade here. And I got this in my, 
I think my glossy box advent calendars or if it was in my Sephora advent calendars. I don't remember. It was one of the advent calendars. And I tried it in video recently and uh, the color is, I don't know if you can even see, it's, it's very hard to make it even. I think this is the best if you use, uh, you know, tap it with your fingers and make it look more, you know, that, I know, like touch of a red vampire look. That's how it, you can make it work. But put it as a lipstick on your lips, it didn't work for me. It was uneven, it felt a little bit uncomfortable, it kind of showed every texture every dry patch it grabbed for, on every dry patch on my lips it just was one very bad i know if it is with that this color because i know these kind of colors do that to my lips or make my lips look like that i need to try others but i'm just disappointed i don't like this shade and i don't like the texture of this shade i know many people like this uh, this kind of lipstick from femty beauty the other shades I just don't know if it's me or my lips or this shade, but it didn't work. Now, let's go to the highlighters. Uh, I'm going to remove because I'm going to swatch. Uh, I have four highlighters that I didn't like and there are two, two brands. Okay, four highlighters, two brands. Everything is stained. My nails are stained, my fingers are stained. Let's just continue. Okay, the Urban Glow Highlighter. This is a little bit too dark for me. I know, it is a little bit too dark. But this is a highlight, where is the highlighter? Do you see it? Do you see the glow? Can you see the glow? Oh, there it is. This on the face doesn't do anything. It shows right now, but this on the skin, it just, I, I didn't like it. I had to apply plenty of this highlighter to make it look okay on my face and you can see right now when the lights hit it hits it right now because i have bright lights in front of me but in real life there is no glow no glow no 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 i don't know if you see any glow here but in real life there is no glow and i just don't didn't like it so i'm not using it i do keep it for i don't know why because I'm crazy and collect things. I keep it to compare with other products, but it's just a big no-no for me. That highlighter is big no-no and I don't recommend it. The bronzer I like, but the highlighter I don't. Now Essence, I like Essence product a lot and there are a couple of Essence products that I love. Now, one of the products that glow doesn't exist. Uh, this is the Essence Open the Magic Baked Metal Highlight. I don't know what I got this, don't remember. But there is, oh, looks so cute on the camera. But there is no product when you put it on the face. There is no, there, there you see it a little bit. This is I didn't like this product. It showed my texture on my skin, but it didn't make me look glowy. It didn't give me this. It just looked weird. So I don't recommend it. Okay, and the other two products from Essence Highlighters that I actually had on my wish list. I don't know if I had it last year or year before my wish list. I can't really remember. But I bought them when they arrived to Sweden. And it's the Essence Highlighter Berry, Berrien, Berrien. This is the Berry Vibes and Berry on, Berry, oh, Berry on My Mind. They look so cute. I love cherries and strawberries. Doesn't smell anything. I love cherries and strawberries. These highlighters are too deep for my skin tone. And I know I'm not the palest person out there or the lightest with the lightest skin tone, but these are cute. And these you can see, but they are too dark. And I was disappointed because on the web website, 
they looked much lighter. Now, some highlighters look deeper than they actually are when you, when you swatch them. So I don't hate this. I just couldn't make them work. They are too deep for my skin tone and I just keep them because I think they are so cute and they look, I like the shades and I'm hoping that I will get so tan that I can use this because they are beautiful. I just feel like they are, I don't know. Now this you can see, they're just too deep, too deep for me. And I, I couldn't find lighter shades and I thought these will work. This is one and two. I just don't know how to use them. That's everything guys, that's everything. I was so negative in this video. Let's just end this video here. I will end this video here. I know there are a couple more things that I used up that didn't really work for me, but I will keep them for my empty videos. I don't want to repeat myself too much. I know there are, I already talked about some products that I'm going to talk about in my empty video soon, but I'm going to stop here because this is re this video is getting too long and I already talked a lot, but let me know down below if there is any product that didn't work for you this the last year, not this year, last year. And let me know if some of these products you love or made work. Let me know because I'm interested. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video.